Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. This video is going to be another one product curly hair routine. I'm going to be trying out a product I haven't tried before. I was just at Target the other day and I was just strolling through the aisles, letting Target tell me what I needed. And she came through and she told me that I needed this Miss Jessie's Quick Curls. And so I was just strolling through the hair aisle and this caught my attention just because of how bright and like pretty and fun looking this packaging is. I feel like all of Miss Jessie's products are very bright and colorful, very eye-catching. They always catch my attention, but I don't always go for them because they are a little bit on the pricey side. I think I paid like $17.50, almost $18 bucks for this product. The only other product I've tried from Miss Jessie's is the Pillow Soft Curls, which I think that one's like $20. Bucks. It is worth it, but not something that I would reach for all the time. $18 could have gotten me maybe three products, but here I am with one. So after reading through the label, it seemed like it would be a really good product to use in a one product routine. So I want to see how it works in that way. It doesn't really say anywhere if this product is actually like a standalone product or if you should use it in combination with other things. To me, it seems like it's a one product kind of thing. The first thing it says on the bottle is the best darn quick curl cream period. <laughs> it says it's excellent for curly, wavy, and loose textures, wash and go curls, superb shine, lightweight lotion, plumps curls up, super slick serum defrizzer. So there's no sulfates, parabens, no animal testing, no DEA, no phthalates, and we love that over here. I'm gonna go ahead and just detangle my hair. I just got out the shower. I did kind of detangle with my fingers as much as I could in the shower, but I'm gonna go in with my Tangle Buster from Careco. Just dampen my hair a little bit more because it's been in the towel for a little bit. But I don't wanna have it soaking, soaking wet. So one of their tips on the back of the bottle says to apply the product on damp hair. always dropping my hair always my hair is all detangled and I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this product on the back it says for a beautiful halo of soft velvety curls apply about a tablespoon to damp sections of hair do not rinse out dry naturally or use a diffuser for more volume so I'm gonna style as I normally do using my nine row brush and also doing some finger coils around the frame of my face and also the crown of my head and I'm just gonna section my hair and probably like three sections. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the product to my hair. It says, did it say tablespoon or teaspoon? Because that's a big difference. <laughs> oh, it said tablespoon. That kind of seems like a lot. I don't want to use too much because I don't want my hair to be weighed down. Even though it says it is lightweight, I don't want to risk it. So when I use my nine row brush, I just make sure to brush away from my scalp so that I can get a little bit more volume. You don't ever want to brush downward. It's very liquidy and it smells, it smells fresh. It kind of smells a little bit uh, citrusy, but it's not strong at all. I'm also just going to be using my fingers to rake it through my hair and make sure I coat all of my strands. This product also does have a lot of slip. It makes my hair feel so smooth and so easy to run my fingers through. And lately, I feel like my hair has been a little bit off balance since I colored it. I feel like I may have had a little bit of a moisture overload since I colored my hair. It has 
gotten a little bit drier which is totally normal but i have been doing like these extra moisture masks and adding all this extra moisture in my hair that i probably didn't need because it has left my hair feeling a little bit like limp and my hair is just really soft not in a good way like my curls aren't really holding their their shape like after the first day my hair just is like so limp and it's so weird because i feel like i've never had this problem before so after doing a little bit of research and really trying to analyze what is wrong with my hair i ended up doing a little keratin mask and it wasn't anything crazy but hopefully maybe it'll leave my hair looking a little bit better than it has been looking and leave it looking better longer so we'll see how this wash day comes out i know it will take a little while for my hair to just really get back to its normal state since i did color it even though i didn't bleach it or anything it still was processed and that does cause damage I'm going to be going in with a little bit of the product on my hand and finger curl some of the pieces that are framing my face. So all the product is applied and I am done styling my hair now. We're just gonna see how long it actually takes my hair to dry. I do wanna diffuse it, but I'm gonna wait until my hair is about 90% dry, just because I really wanna see like how quick is quick. It says quick, but how quick is quick? So right now it is 8.15 and I'm just gonna keep track of how long it takes for my hair to reach that 90%-ish dryness, you know? So that's one of the three things I kinda wanna test out with this product. So how quick is my hair actually gonna dry? Is it gonna live up to the hype? Is it gonna live up to my expectations from reading this label? Or is it gonna fail me? So the second thing I'm kinda testing out is just how, I don't wanna say defined because that's not what this product is telling me it's gonna do. Nowhere on here does it say definition or anything like that. So so I really just want to see kind of just how well my curls look, how nice do they look, how supple, they use the word supple in here, how supple and velvety and beautiful halo soft do my curls look after we're done using this product. And then the last thing is just how long is my hair actually going to last with just this one product in it or how much effort do I have to put into refreshing my hair over the next few days. So I'm definitely gonna come back on here for day two and day three to give you guys a hair update, show you guys how my curls are holding up and let you guys know how much of a refresher I had to do that day. I will be back today once my hair is 90% dry. I am going to guess maybe two hours or maybe I'm reaching too far, but this is real bold. So I'm trying to see some results. So hopefully by 10, I'll be back. Okay, it is now 10 o'clock, which means it's like an hour and 45 minutes later. My hair, honestly, is still pretty wet. I would say it's like, I don't know, 50% dry. I feel like the ends are pretty dry, but up here it's still pretty wet. So I would say 50 to 60%. I really thought like it was just gonna be dry. I don't know, I thought it was gonna be way more dry than what it is right now, but I don't have any more time to wait. So I know I said I was gonna wait until it was 90%. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse it, but I'm just gonna do it very carefully and gently because I don't want to cause any frizz. Besides it not being dry, my hair looks pretty good. Like my curls actually look really good right now. So yeah, I'm excited to see what they'll look like once it's completely dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip my head over first and I'm just gonna try to get my roots and then I'll go in and start kind of like scrunching it.
so my hair is completely dry right now and my curls are looking pretty good they actually feel really nice i'm not going to go in and separate my curls because it's already late and there's no point i'm just going to do that tomorrow morning i do have some frizz kind of in the hair that's on the bottom here i think i could have just applied a little bit more product to these pieces and that would have solved that problem and then i have a little bit of frizz going on up here so yeah my hair is super soft i obviously didn't use a gel or any mousse or anything to kind of seal this in so i'm kind of expecting some frizz but hopefully not too much but this is basically my day one kind of i'm literally just gonna put it up and go to bed right now but it's completely dry so this is pretty much the final result the only other thing i would do is kind of separate some pieces going on in the front of my hair that's all i have for day one hey guys welcome to day two this is what my hair is looking like i came out really good actually i feel like i have this weird frizzy area in my head right here i don't even know if you guys can see it but something's going on over here that i don't like and then the bottom kind of like the pieces that are underneath the ones that i showed you guys yesterday they're just really frizzy and i didn't apply any more product this is just what my hair looks like after fluffing it out using my wide tooth comb this is the double roll pick from Cantu, and i also put some like argan oil on my fingertips to separate my curls so this is basically my day two results and my hair is looking really good so i am really happy with this one product so far so good hey guys so i'm back for day three update and i feel like my hair looks pretty good i do have some frizz i'm not sure how much you can see it on camera at least it's kind of hard for me to see it in the viewfinder but i did go in this morning and refresh it a little bit i mostly just went over the front of my hair and i used the quick curls and a little bit of water so i still only have this one product in my hair besides a little bit of argan oil that i used on the first day to separate my curls so that is going to be the end of this one product curly hair routine let me know if you tried miss jesse's quick curls down in the comment section let me know if you think it's worth it i think you know i actually really do like this just because it's like one and done even though it is 18 dollars, i would normally pay like five or six bucks for a leave-in a curling cream and a gel i usually would use those three or just like some sort of cream and a gel that would easily be like a 12 14 dollar purchase if you think about each product being maybe five or six bucks so yeah this for 18 bucks one product your curls are gonna look good so that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.